Hi everybody. In this video we're going to learn how to make simple animations in 3JS using tween.js. So make sure you have the script tag for tween.js in your head section of your index HTML file. The link for the tween.js script tag is in the description below. As far as code there's not much to add. In your animate loop you're just going to put tween.update so you can update all the active tween animations that you have created. So when I'm creating my animation, there's basically four steps. The first step is to state which property are you animating. Here I am animating the material color. And then the second step is to say, well, what do you want to change that value to? So I'm starting at whatever color that object is, and I'm changing it to a red value of one, a green value of one, and a blue value of one. That's white, so I'm changing it to white. And how long is it going to take? It's going to take 2,000 milliseconds, or 2 seconds. Then I'm declaring what type of easing am I going to use. Here's a series of graphs that show the different type of easings that you can use. So the graphs show how much the animation is changing over time. So for linear none, it is changing at a constant rate from the beginning to the end of the animation. But for quadratic in, the animation is changing slowly and then it's changing faster at the end. And quadratic out is changing faster at the beginning and then slower at the end. So there's different types of animation easings that you can use for your animations. Here I'm using the linear none. And notice I'm just using the semicolon after the last step here. All these steps are being added to this tween animation. So property value from, property value to, the amount of time, the type of animation easing, and then when to start it. But you can control your start a different way. Here I'm using an event listener key press, and when I press a key, the animation will start. But you can control it different ways. You could use the mouse press event listener, or you could use proximity, like when the player is within a certain amount of distance of that object, then the animation will begin. For the movement animation, I have to set a target for where the object will move to. And that's what let target 1 is. It's a new 3 vector 3 with the x value of minus 5, y of 0, and z of 3. So these are the coordinates the object will move to. So let position change is equal to new tween animation. I'm starting at the Q1 position. Wherever Q1 is on the screen, it will start animating from there. And where is it moving to? target 1, this vector I've declared up here, and it's going to take 3 seconds to get there. And the type of easing I'm using is bounce in and out, and I'm starting it. And if you want to animate the scale, so you have to set a target of what size the object will scale down to or up to. So here it will scale to a x of 3, y is 3, and z is 3. So I'm calling this let scale change. I'm starting at the cube 2 scale. Whatever scale that is, that's where it's starting at. And it's scaling to target big. This vector I've declared up here in 5 seconds. And the type of animation easing, it's going to be back in out. This one here, back period in out. And then I'm starting it. Okay, so these are just some examples of things you can animate. But you can animate any property of the object. Here I'm just console logging this object and all these properties that you have access to you can change. You can change the rotation, the shadows, whether it's visible or not or the opacity of it. You know there's lots of things you can change.